everybody, Alonzo here with GulfCoastSmoke.com and today is episode 3 of our Thanksgiving series and we're making homemade dinner rolls. So we have multiple ingredients that we're working with today, but the first three that we want to talk about is the milk, sugar, and active dry yeast. You want to warm this milk up to around 110 to 115 degrees and that's just the temperature that we're going to need in order to activate this yeast here in a second. We have the Fleshman's Active Dry Yeast. You can also use the Instant if you can't find this. That's going to be just fine. Then I also have a tablespoon of sugar. So what we're going to do is we are going to add these three ingredients together. And then we're going to mix it just for a few seconds. That should be good enough. And now we're just going to let this sit for about three to five minutes. I'll show you guys what it needs to look like. So you might be asking yourself, why are we concentrating on dinner rolls today? We're a barbecue channel and there's a lot of other delicious sides out there that we could make. And I 100% agree. If I find any that I like, I will actually link them down below. There's a lot of channels that are doing a lot of great things out there. But my wife and I really love rolls and my wife actually makes a lot of really really good things when it comes to pastries so we're going to concentrate on the rolls today and we're going to show you guys how easy it is to make delicious rolls you can knock the socks off of everybody at the thanksgiving dinner table and you can use this recipe moving forward for a lot of different occasions now it's time to talk about these other ingredients that we have on the table so i have three cups of all-purpose white flour here we're only going to work with half of that for the time being so i have a big mixing bowl here and I'm going to pour, that would be a cup and a half of all-purpose white flour, a teaspoon of salt. I have three tablespoons of white sugar. And here I'm going to get five tablespoons of butter and just cut it into a few pieces. And you can see that it's obviously really soft. We left it out at room temperature for a little bit. And then we're just going to add it all to this mixture as well. Then I have one egg that we just cracked and put in here to make it easier for ourselves. I'll throw that in as well. And now we're just going to mix this just a little bit before we throw in that yeast mixture. And so if you look at this yeast mixture, you can see that it's activated now. It's risen up a little bit, and that's exactly what you're going to want to see. It's actually kind of like a little test to make sure that it's still active. If it doesn't do this, you might want to try a different pack. Now we're going to pour this mixture in. We're going to mix this a little bit, and then we're going to add the rest of that flour. All right, the rest of the all-purpose white flour. Again, this is another cup and a half. Now we're just going to move this over to our stand mixer. And it has a dough hook attached. If you don't have one of these, you can actually use your hands. And my wife has a recipe for that on our website. I'll link it in the description. We're going to turn this up to four. So we're going to let this go for about three to five minutes. And what we're going to want to see in the end is the dough start pulling away from the edges of this bowl. And this right here is exactly what I want to see. It's holding up under its own weight for the most part, and it's pulled away from the edge of the bowl here. If it looks a little bit sticky, that's completely fine. That was done on purpose. With dinner rolls, we definitely want them to be a little bit more fluffy and light, and this consistency is gonna help with that. We have a large bowl, and I'm gonna grease it. Make sure to grease this well so this dough does not stick. Now I've got just a little spatula here to help me get this dough out. Now we're just gonna put some plastic wrap over the top of this. So now we need this dough to rise. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna put it in our oven. And we set it up by setting it on warm for about 10 minutes and then turning it off. That's going to ensure that it's a warm but not hot and a draft-free area for this dough to rise. 
The rise is going to take anywhere from one to two hours, and you basically just want this to double in size. We're going to be back in a little bit to show you what that looks like. So an hour and 20 minutes later, you can see that this dough has doubled in size, real fluffy. Just going to punch it down, pull away from the sides. I'm just going to put this right here in the middle of our sanitized workstation. So from here, I'm going to cut this. This is, I don't even really know what this is called. I actually use this sometimes to like scrape the blackstone. Not this specific one, but you know, this is pretty much that tool. Again, I don't really know what it's called, but either way, I'm just going to cut this in to three pretty equal sizes and now from here we'll do five that's a little small I don't know if I like that if we need to we'll take some off of another one for that but so then we're just gonna form like a C with our hands and roll this dough just for about eight ten seconds or so you should see the underside should have like a little swirl right there where you can see that you've been forming this ball. All right, so now I'm going to spray a baking dish here. You guys can choose any baking dish you want. And we're going to line these three by five. So we're going to do the rest of these off camera. And then what we're going to do is let this sit for another hour and 20 minutes. And again, we're waiting for these to double in size. Basically, there's going to be some gaps here, and after it's risen, everything's going to be a little bit tighter. And when we bake it, it's all going to be one large piece. An hour and 20 minutes later, you can see that the dough has risen again. Those balls doubled in size. And you can notice that these two right here are a little bit smaller than the others. And that's simply just because I didn't do a good job of forming the balls. But it's going to be okay. Now we're going to put these into a 350 degree oven for 20 minutes. to take a bite of this delicious dinner roll let me look at the bottom as well it's got a nice undercarriage looks really good fluffy i mean i might be biased but there's just nothing you can't you can't get that at the store fluffy light has a tad bit of sweet due to a little bit of the sugar that we added but i mean the butter flavor just 
so amazing. Fluffy again. Pillowy. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how else I can describe it. We did whip up some cinnamon butter as well. This is very simple. Two sticks of butter, two cups of sugar. We used powder today and three teaspoons of cinnamon. And we're going to throw a little bit of that on here. It doesn't even need it. It really doesn't. These are so delicious. But we're going to add it. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. I mean, better than Texas Roadhouse. And those are the bomb. I'm not even going to lie. To me, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> I think you guys can a lot of the times tell when I really like something because I smile and I can't stop smiling. And it is genuine as can be. I'm sincere. It's genuine as can be. These are just so delicious. I literally made these today. I made them. That's how easy it is. You can do it too because I'm nowhere near a pastry chef or anything like that. So I hope you guys can take this recipe and have a great Thanksgiving with your family. If you enjoyed a video like this, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, leave a like. We're growing. We're almost to 4,000. I think you guys can help push us there. And then the next goal is five. And then the next goal is 10, so on and so forth. As always, I really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.